All right, guys, so this is going to be the after action report and kind of the initial part to the Half Face Blades Crow Scout. Now, this is the first one up that I tested, and I'm going to be doing a more in depth uh, segment to this just in a few moments. It'll transition, but uh, just a quick after action report. I was actually really impressed with the Crow Scout. It was one of those blades that I didn't really know how to feel with it going into this test because for me, for its overall size and like its overall kind of use case, it is a fairly thin blade stock. It's around an eighth of an inch thick. And so I was not sure how well this was actually gonna hold up to batoning. Like I knew it wasn't gonna like break or get damaged or anything, but I wasn't sure how actually, you know, usable it would be when it came down to harder use tasks. However, it did do things like batoning just fine. Put a little bit of strain on the tip, nothing too crazy. I just like to do a quick tip strength test, not to necessarily break the blade, but to see if it can create a small hole for putting things into like wood toggles and such. Not necessarily for heavy or hardcore use applications, but it is nice. Uh, it's a nice exercise as you guys can see if you need to feather stick things field expediently. So it's, it's a good exercise to run every so often with blades. Now I will say as far as ergonomics go, I found it to be pretty good. Like I said, just like the performance, it was all pretty surprising in the best way. Now, like I said, I'm going to jump over to the tabletop and actually give you guys some close-ups and tell you guys what I thought of the use as a whole. Now, I didn't use this thing extensively just due to the limited time constraints that I have these knives. Once again, a subscriber was generous enough to send them in for testing. He told me, you know, use them as I will or to have fun with them. So I did want to run them through their paces as I would with many other wilderness blades, but I don't have a whole lot of time with them. So just had to run them through general applications and tasks and show you guys what their overall capabilities. All right, guys, so now to follow up on the field use of the Crow Scout. Now, like I was saying, I did a brief kind of overview and summary in the field directly after the use to give some of my thoughts and impressions on the Crow Scout and its use. Now, I will say, as I said in the initial impressions, there this edge is um, redone. This is not a factory edge. Therefore, it's not quite as sharp as I would personally like it. I usually like my edges just a hair bit sharper than the edge that was put on this. This is probably about like a 600 grit. It's pretty toothy and it's not super fine. However, I will say that the Crow Scout overall performed pretty darn well. Now, one thing I was a little bit hesitant about and one of my least favorite things about most half face blades as a whole is how thin a stock they use. So this is around an eighth of an inch thick, whereas let's say this Chris Reeve knife specific is closer to around a quarter inch thick. Now, both of these use the same steel and personally, I think the performance for things like batoning and more heavy duty applications are much easier to do with something like a Pacific because of that thicker um, full tanked presence to it. However, I will say this eight, eighth of an inch thick is fine. It is acceptable. And as you can see, it did move through hardened pieces of spruce pretty fine and pretty well. And overall, I think this blade did everything that I wanted it to do. Um, I am a fan of the traction pattern on the handle, whether you're wearing gloves or barehanded, it is pretty good. I do wish the handle was a little bit more roomy. Once again, something along the lines of the specific where you can see that I can have a full grip and still have, you know, about an inch left uh, in the back uh, of the handle. One thing as well, I will say I'm fairly partial to, and of course not all my go-to field knives have this, is a forward finger choil. And I think especially when you start getting up into bigger knives like these uh, that are, you know, around 10 plus inches in overall length, being able to have a forward finger choil really helps you make that bigger blade smaller by giving you more control at the back of the edge. So that is something that I really do like. Now, one big criticism I have for, honestly, Honestly, a lot of high-end survival knives is the inability to strike ferro rods off the spine or really anywhere on this knife. Now, I can't fully knock this knife for that because my Pacific came the same way. I did obviously modify it to square the spine out in this area so that I could strike ferro rods and it is very, very sharp. So if I had or was going to keep, you know, something like this Crow Scout, I'd probably end up modifying it in a similar manner, which is kind of unfortunate 
fortunate because they have this nice kind of um, like hammered pattern or just texture to the spine in this area. But unfortunately for survival sake, I would probably end up removing this whole thing and actually just squaring off the spine for striking ferro rods because what's better than a stylized spine is something that is actually functional and will perform and do the job you want. Also too, I think it's worth noting, I think that this was kind of um, half face blades idea of like adding some jimping to the knife. And I really dislike it because this stuff is honestly more uncomfortable than jimping so if they intended this to be like a traction it really doesn't work and it's actually pretty uncomfortable because of how small the little contacts of steel actually are so i would not recommend using this for jimping and i certainly would not put my thumb up here under normal use because it will hurt you so anyways, aside from that, this blade overall held up pretty great. It is made out of good materials, CPMS 35VN and micarta. I think the thing that I like the most about it is its grip. It has a very nice, well cut in pattern that is comfortable, albeit just a little bit small. So yeah, essentially that is the Crow Scout by Half Face Blades. Is it a good or solid buy? In my opinion, and this is just strictly my opinion, maybe you feel differently. I think that there are a lot of very solid knives in a similar or less or like a cheaper price point that can do 90% of what this blade does. Now, in my opinion, if you already have something like the Crow Scout or if you already own a knife like this, then definitely keep it. It's not a bad knife. I think a lot of times when people hear me speak poorly of knives like this, like it is a quality knife that is made, you know, very well. And so if you already have one, don't get rid of it. However, if you are finding yourself like at the precipice of like, should I buy this? Should I not? I would say probably don't buy this knife and rather go for something that's going to be in like the SE wheelhouse and the Bark River Knives wheelhouse. Um, even like LT Wright or Battle Horse Knives are going to produce blades that are on par with this, honestly, and usually come in about $100 cheaper. And I think the biggest reason why Half Face Blades is so expensive is you're paying for a lot of hype and a lot of brand undoubtedly half face blades look very cool they're made in you know creative and you know awesome ways that like make the blade look cool but from a sheer performance and spec sheet these just don't add up to the same performance as other knives uh, in its similar price range, I should say. So anyways, that is kind of my end conclusion to these blades. And I will say um, probably my least favorite thing about this knife is their sheaths. I really, really hate pretty much every sheath that Half Face Blades makes. And it's primarily because they make, you know, very nice looking Kydex sheaths, but there is literally no retention. It's just this um, felt interior that has a level of friction with the blade. And and that is what kind of gives you its retention. I really don't like that. I'm not a fan of it at all, but that is like how all of their um, sheets are. Also too, they are seemingly against having push-offs on their um, sheaths. So it's actually very hard to push your blade out of the sheath. So yeah, that's another thing I really dislike about um, half face blades. Their sheaths uh, like need to go through a serious overhaul because this is probably the weakest link in this whole knife, which once again, if you're spending 350 plus dollars on a knife, it's really disappointing when that's the case. Anyways, guys, that has been a look at the Crow Scout by Half Face Blades. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.